Tomorrow is emo night at work. I'm so excited. God, I love emo music. It's kind of embarrassing to listen to when you realize like what it sounds like and that you know other people can hear you. Like, sometimes you gotta listen to something to get you pumped up. I guess that's just what my endorphins like. So tomorrow's emo night. I don't know what to wear, if I should wear my Bane hoodie or my used shirt or my really tight camo thermal that I cut and sewed. And why did I keep this stuff? I have no furniture. I have like a mattress on the floor and like a chair. Jeremy the giraffe, we all know about Jeremy. But I still have clothes from when I was 15. My priorities are whack. We all used to wear really tight black jeans. And then one day somebody introduced leggings and we were like, ooh, this is better. And then we started wearing looser pants. Now when I wear high-waisted black jeans, I'm just like, this is just really uncomfortable. It's like wearing a corset on your legs. I can't believe we used to do that every day. And then you sit down and you're like, am I gonna puke up my own intestines? <laughs> I might. So I'm gonna wear those tomorrow. It's like interesting to think Oh, what am I going to wear? What am I going to do? Like, for emo night, it's not going to be, like, that different from, like, how I already am. Okay. My ex-boyfriend told me he went on tour with the used. And I was like, yeah, that means I really like you. Do you remember MySpace? It was a vibe. MySpace was better than Facebook or Instagram because you can have a song on your page. So you're set in the mood. That song was very representative of who you were in that moment. If you get in a fight with your friends, you gotta change your profile song and you have to change your top eight just so they know how serious this is because this is not a joke. Okay, Sydney, you're getting bumped down to six. And then there's like that other person who's always like, you like don't have quite eight and so there's like one rando on there. I had pictures of Paris Hilton with her boob showing. At one point, I think I had a Louis Vuitton background. I looked back through some of these pictures of me during my MySpace days. I was like one of those famous MySpace people. It's not how I will be remembered when I die, but yeah, my name on there was Skinny Bitch because I looked anorexic because I was in high school and I was very small like normal small now. I don't think I would be described as that skinny person. I would just be like the girl with the red hair, that super hot babe in sweats at all times, that like girl who looks really mean. The girl who's really intelligent, has like the world's most beautiful blue eyes, like any of the above, but probably not like that skinny bitch. But when I was in high school, I really did look like I had anorexia. I didn't, but just genetic. <laughs> I still had baby teeth until my senior year. I was, my wisdom teeth were growing in and they were like, do you want us to get this baby tooth too while we're at it? And I was like, yeah, sure. If it's not budging on its own, I guess you might as well yank it. Just a late bloomer, which is good. So maybe when I'm a hundred, I'll look like I'm like 60. Do you remember like those pictures we would take where it's like, you hold your phone, you're like a sidekick or whatever, like up here and you're like. Why was that the look? Is my eye twitching? Oh. People were just like draining me today for no particular reason. And then we were all like. I still pretty much dress the same, except for I wear not the tight pants. I wear like men's dickies instead, but. Truthfully though, I was like actually emo, like I was very, very depressed and sad. So it was kind of nice to be able to be like, oh, this is the style. <laughs> so it's like going to a funeral. It's the only place where you don't have to pretend to be nice. You're just like, I'm upset. There's been a death and you're processing it. You're at a wedding, you have to be happy. Even though you're like, I think this is a fucking bad idea. I don't think they should do it. But I'm not going to be the one to stand up. 
I love Eminem. You know what I love about Eminem though? He knows everything that's wrong with him. And he is like, try to use it against me. You can't, I already said it. Love date mile, nice face. Then I got this job, we'll call it a job. Job, gig, something, project where I was working on becoming like America's next big pop star. I don't know. I'll get into that some other time. And they saw my MySpace and they were like, you can't be your own PR person. And I was like, well, I, obviously I'm really good at it. Like look at all my friends on here. They're like, no, you should really delete that because like, we don't want you to be famous like on your own. Like you have to be famous for like the person we're making you. And I was like, Delete my MySpace. Oh my god. MySpace went out of style anyway, and everyone switched to Facebook, which is like a huge mistake. Facebook is super fucking lame. All I remember about Facebook is you could have like 17,000 pictures on there, and you just have to know what everybody's doing. It's very invasive. I don't like it. It's just, there's, why is there words everywhere? You look at the page, and there's the, everything is there. All these words, all these buttons, all these things. It's like, what is this even? It's so intense. Facebook is a mess. I will not go on there. My mom will be like, I sent you something on Facebook. I'll be like, you'd be better off sending me something in the mail. You'd be better off sending me something by a horse and buggy, like carriage to my house. Actually, who wouldn't notice that if that came up to your house, like a horse carrying a message? She would be better off tying a letter to a pigeon's foot and I don't even like pigeons, I hate them. They have no respect for personal space and boundaries. Pigeons will just fly in your face. Or they will just, they will attack you. They're just like, get out of my way. Pigeons, they're the rats of the sky. So my mom will send me a message on Facebook. Be like, I see a message on Facebook. I'm just like, mm. I'm not going on there. I'm not going on there. I don't know what my password is. I can never remember it. There's somebody always trying to hack it at all times. They're never gonna get it. I don't even know what it is. Those sneaky bastards, they made it so it's linked to everything. You can't delete it. How am I gonna sign in to go to yoga? It's Monopoly. That Monopoly peanut guy. The scene, MySpace, the Postal Service, Cartel, the Use, My Chemical Romance. Mm, the spell canvas. So, so sad and misunderstood. Looking out the window at the rain in Seattle, just like. <sighs> Taking a picture with my camera that I carry around. The like pink Costco camera. I mean, I don't know if they got theirs at Costco, but I got a lot at Costco because my dad's obsessed with Costco and every time I go to Costco with my dad I know he'll get anything I put in the cart because he's like it's from Co Costco's the best he's convinced it's like really high quality I mean I did get this sweater there the last time I visited it has chocolate milk on it I have a problem for my space I had a whole blog of like all of these fake profiles of me but that's kind of scary because if that happened then what kind of pictures of me are circling the internet now? They're definitely uh, probably way worse. People are probably making a lot more money off of me than I am. Damn, gotta love an entrepreneur. Glad I can help out.